I don't, I don't mean to do this, but I think it was just my baby day. I'm so lonely. Why do cry? You know I miss you, baby. I think it's for the best. How pass back stronger. When you fall out for the place or the case, the two are my you're busy, 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 you are busy is beyond repair. When a man cries, you know that pain is unbearable. Really, really unbearable. This guy, Tony Frank, trained a girl through school. In the hope of marrying that girl after that girl round up with her schooling. Unfortunately for him, the girl abandoned him and went to wed another man. She meant through school. And you now say it go better for that kind of marriage. It is sad. Tell me how this man will take move forward now. Tell me. Trained someone through school in the hopes of marrying that girl one day. And the girl scope you. Collect your money throughout in school. Meanwhile, even collect some joiner. Give to that guy in school. The guy chop your money. The guy chop your girl joiner. The guy humiliate you, Jonah. The girl wrong, follow the girl. Tell me how God will take bless that kind of marriage. A marriage that is already in debt. In debtedness. Come on, how God will take bless that kind of marriage? Hmm? You left someone heartbroken. A man crying, you know. If a man starts crying, eh, it is extremely painful. It is unbearable. And again, I've advised fellow men before. If anybody likes, let them say you are stingy. Let them say you are a small boy. It is good to be called a small boy than to go through this kind of heartbreak. Yeah, let me make it clear. It is good to be called a small boy than to go do, through this kind of heartbreak. Do not give out what you cannot let go. If you cannot let go 100,000 naira, give out one naira. Give what you can let go. Give what you can let go. If it's of iPhone that you can let go, give it out. Some people, some rich men can let go of a mansion. So rich men can buy a girl in mansion, and if the girl break their heart, they just look that mansion as anything. So a poor man cannot let go of five naira, five naira. So don't give that five naira out. Give one naira. Give what you can let go. How can you train a girl through school? Come on, man. You train a girl through school just to get to tell you, ah, sorry, my heart is no longer with you. I have found myself another Bobby. I cannot let go of James. Please, please. Forgive me, Emeka. I cannot let go of James. I love James so much. Where was James where you were paying your school fees? Where was James? And again, Abba, before you start to the train gear, pay for a bride price first. Let her be your wife. Yeah. Before you even start training any girl. Majority of us guys eh, we have trained our wife through schools before. Yes, we have. We have. 
Maybe because we cannot wait any longer, we just want to marry and uh, then we will take over the rest of the responsibility. Yes, yeah, so many guys have done it. There's nothing wrong with that. Why you go the same girl go school first before you marry her? You the Jones? Are you a Jonah? Come on, man. I feel pity for that guy. For the guy to come online and cry like, who is more pity? You don't see the tea pay now. <laughs> the tea pay now. <laughs> you Jones yourself. But may God comfort you though. God will give you your own. That girl will be your own. Uh, uh, yes, now, nah, that girl will be your own. If not your own, you know, go anywhere. You will train get through school. You they expect me to not get another guy. Apa. You the Jones? You the wine Jesus? Or you the wine thunder? Some people say me, I know they use this Jesus again. You the wine Muhammad? <laughs> Is that okay for you? <laughs> okay. So, that being said, Let's uh, talk about uh, Asha Yusufu. So, you know, the new national anthem is, is something that is new. And again, it was a priority for the president. He said so. That changing the national anthem was a priority for him. A real priority for him. He said so. Well, recently, Asha Yusufu who was one of the campaign managers of um, Peter Obi. Though it's not to deal, Asha Yusufu already said she doesn't have a president. Well, guess what? They were singing, the, they were reciting the national item. Every other person stood up. Asha Yusufu refused to stand up. Okay, Asha Yusufu is one of all those women I respect so, so much. So much respect, not only because she's from Edo State, Isako. I have so much absolute respect for that woman. In fact, I will even draw up, uh, I will draw up a proposal years ago, even wanted to send it to the federal government to hide Asha Yusufu's image. To the new redesign Ara note as at that time, but unfortunately, it was for scam. <laughs> it was never redesigned. I never, I never knew. They just wanted to change the color, not the new Ara note. But Asha Yusufu is one of all those women I respect so much. Was she right by not doing that? By like standing up to, of course, acknowledge the Nigeria national anthem was she right no she wasn't right honestly she wasn't right let's call a spade a spade she's entitled to her own opinion but she has to abide by the rules and regulation of the land since you are living in the land since you have since you are enjoying some basic amenities as your right in the land you have to obey the land you have to obey the land you understand ah but she wasn't right at all. She wasn't right at all. She has to obey the land. I understand a personal grief towards Tunubu. But that doesn't stop you from obeying the land. The national anthem is for the land. You understand? Many of us do not like what is happening. Many of us do not like them for change they do not really support the changing of uh the nigerian national anthem most especially if, if they are drawing us back to the colonizer uh, master but it has already been passed it has already been signed into law you must obey there are so many law 
that many of us do not like, but we have to obey them anyway. So I shall be so full. I'm not supporting her for this, honestly. I'm not supporting her for this. Then again, big up to Fino. Fino Fino. We hardly talk about all those uh, Igbo uh, musicians that are making her proud. Big up to Fino. Fino is trying as much as possible to keep up. Not even keep up. He's a big boy. We already know. He has been doing it ever since. Olamide and Fino, you understand how close they were. And they are still very, very, very much close. They have been doing their sh shit. And it's going well for them. Fino just decided to hide a Maybach to his car collision. And of course, guess who was there to film everything? Kubana Chief Priest, the morning, morning uh, uh, a guy. They are very, very good friends. You know, I want to about these musicians. Don't forget, Fino was the person that bought an entire estate in Lagos State. An entire estate spent like two billion naira to buy that estate. So money day, money day. Don't worry, there is money. Don't allow that matter of money matter to trouble you. There is money there. An entire estate, Fino bought it about uh, last year. So there is money. So if in buying a Maybach, it's not an issue at all. Don't be worried that no money. There is money with Fino. So big up to him and uh, special congratulations coming from Adam Sling family to Fino. And the catch you next time, guys. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Bye.